My work is all about bringing together text and images to illustrate something about history, legacy or context relating to a, a specific icon, animal, place, whatever it is that my subject is. The focus is really on human interaction or how we react to those faces or things that we know. What associations do we make and when and why do we particularly connect with things. This is where the media aspect really comes in. So newspapers, books, magazines, those are the things that shape those opinions. They shape our reactions, they shape these associations that we make. So having that element in the painting itself really makes sense to me and hopefully captures the whole process of story making that goes on within the media and within culture. So I studied English Literature at university followed by a Masters in Creative Writing. For those years I was very heavily immersed in looking at the structures and the processes that are behind shaping these texts that I'm now using in my work. I was using my own words to create typographical portraits, but going through that process of looking so deeply at these different structures of thought made me consider how actually it was far more meaningful and relevant to use those words to create these pictures rather than my own. It took me a while to believe that I actually had the potential to paint as a career and make a living out of it, which is why I went on to study something else at uni. But actually, it did all tie together quite nicely because that so heavily influenced the way that I produce my artwork now. And it was also during this time that I gained the confidence to really have a go at it. In terms of the process behind creating my artworks, materials is literally everything. I put a lot of time, effort and energy into finding the exact materials that I want. So some of these papers, they're decades, sometimes up to 100 years old. Um, but it's really important to me that I find the right ones for the right paintings. My studio is absolutely full of just bags and bags of paper that I've collected over the years. So I have a good sort of wealth of information to use. The next step is finding the right colour for the background. I usually try to find a colour that reflects something in the mood of the painting or contrasts or matches a colour in the paper, so it all ties quite nicely together. I try to pick an ink that is quite similar to what would be used in the original printing of the newspaper to add just an extra level of authenticity to the piece. I don't strive for realism necessarily. Hyperrealist art is not something that I'm particularly interested in creating, partially because the whole point of my paintings is the process of creation, so creating stories. So it makes sense that my paintings look handmade. You can see the tears in the paper, you can see the brush strokes. They're quite tactile when you look at them. And this ties into the final step, which is varnishing them. I don't use a hard, flat resin. I prefer to, to hand paint the lacquer on top myself so that I can keep those elements of texture. So I understand that there's nothing inherently original about collage or mixed media, but I hope that the specific materials that I use and their strict relevance, I hope that that gives an extra dimension to my pieces that makes them more recognisably mine.